Tom, I, I play drums and Gob to math, and uh, I don't make any money from being in a band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Martin, uh, I play guitar. Um, I'm Sam, I play bass. <laughs> but also the approach to being in a band and how you want to do everything yourself as much as you can. Sort of thing. I think more than anything we've got a reputation as like a hard working band which is kind of funny but like we play a lot and we, we travel, we don't go to the South Island very much in New Zealand but we play around the North Island like Wellington and Whanganui and Hamilton and, and obviously we're from Auckland so when, we, when we're gigging, it's often you know every couple of weeks at least. Sometimes two or three times a week we play gigs. So. And we tend to do like one big tour a year mm -hmm. at least. So. shows left but and yeah playing in some of those smaller places like Newcastle, Wollongong, you know, not there weren't many people there but the people who were there were really great people and we had a really fun time and even in those small places there's always gonna be some really incredible bands you get to see. So. Definitely um shellac. Yeah I heard yeah. a lot about um, the shellac. <laughs> and the, the Minutemen and, and also a lot of like noisy New Zealand bands as well like mm -hmm. HDU and Mountain Eater and, and that's something else. I never heard it before. Yeah, you should, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's really incredible. I'll send you a list. Yeah, I'll send you a list of bands from New Zealand. That you should, should check out. We should have bought a mix CD over of great okay, bands, yeah. great New Zealand bands that aren't barbecue reggae. I started <laughs> making one, but I couldn't afford all the CDRs. So <laughs> yeah, but... cool. Next yeah. time I'll bring a zine and the CD compilation. Yeah, New Zealand stuff. Because this is one of the things we toured with um, Piers from Shanghai. And, um, it was really. Um, great to watch them. They're very proud of where they come from, and it was like almost like a uh, 
sermon and they played you know like come to Shanghai discover um, bands from Shanghai like Duck Fight Goofs and you know bands like that um, I kind of want to do that when we go over there like you know discover bands from New Zealand yeah. come to New Zealand and stuff. yeah it's like a you know a promotion for the New Zealand bands yeah. right? uh, just bands that we love and think other people should love you know like, that's what it's all about for us yeah before we release the album so now all the pressure's on because we haven't got any songs left so we've got to <laughs> frantically write another 12 songs or something so. time is on the radar uh -huh. in the future because um, yeah we're playing with peers um, in january so we're trying to organize something for that we'd we'd love to go to europe we'd love to go anywhere that would have us really it, it just comes down to we don't make a living from this and so we've got to pay for it our own way and but you know, that's not too hard. Once you're, once you're there and you're making a little bit each night, you don't need a huge amount of cash to get by. You know, so. But yeah, China is definitely something somewhere we're very interested in going. Hopefully May next year. May? Uh, next yeah. year? Cool. That's it's, uh, our label boss, uh, Benji, who sort of acts as a manager as well. And, um, it's his birthday in May, so he's going to come over. Um, we're all going to go over and enjoy China. Yeah, every May is New Zealand. So jaded. As a, a month, it's just uh, celebrates New Zealand music, but yeah. it, it generally misses the mark entirely and celebrates the wrong kind of music. Cricket. We might, we might actually do one. <laughs> <laughs> 